<laughs> what's going on everybody rob here aka trav 2323 i'm still working on this 48 volt lithium ion chem pack the dally bms is not woken up there's the bluetooth dongle i gotta go in here right now and i gotta look for the dally smart bms app okay so this is the dongle there's nothing here this right here is not plugged into here yet but it's the negative this is in between the negative in and out line right here and the positive goes to the battery so i'm going to connect the dally bms right now it snapped in and plugged in this will start getting warm although this is not finding it yet now you do need from what i understand you need current to the battery for it to find the bluetooth dongle you need current to the battery therefore since this is a 48 volt battery i have bought a 0 to 60 volt power supply now i had this at 48 volts there's no current going through it right now so there's a 10 amp input in the back red is positive red is positive this is going to the positive part of the battery this is going to the negative part which the bms is in between this so i'm turning this on right now okay so right now it only has one volt zero amps but this is completely off so i left this at 48 volts earlier so let me see if i put this up some Forty eight point one volt. Okay, now there's zero amps. So now I got to take the amperage up right now This is what's going sending amps to the battery Nothing why are there no amps going to this battery? <laughs> negative negative positive positive there's no current going to the battery. This is the voltage. This is the current. The current's all the way up. Current's all the way down. Okay, that battery might be running past this voltage right here. Let me check the voltage of the battery. If you look, it's not charging the battery because the battery's at... 48.3 volts the battery is at 48.3 volts so there's no current to the battery so what i'm going to try to do now is this battery is at 48 and when i first got the battery it was at 52 so i'm going to take this up to 52 to try to get some amperage to this battery okay 52 volts let me see if the amps will go up nope i'm not getting no amps to this battery let me figure this one out oh my god you have got to be kidding me i wish you could have seen this it's connected it's connected the daily bms is on no power to it no charge voltage to it nothing no shorting this out right here nothing uh diy battery forum on facebook you are amazing diy battery forum and facebook uh help me out with this and believe it or not these strings i had backwards this right here is a black and this should be your first closest to the battery the, this is the negative your first bottom negative this is the positive to that battery and it goes up this right here should be your lowest voltage walk up to your highest voltage all right so i plugged that in i plugged the negative to the battery in and it found my device and my device is a hundred percent charged 53 volts my smart bms so uh there's zero faults maximum voltage is 3.84 minimum voltage the average voltage is 3.8 there's all my cells right there battery strings 14 cells 
there's my voltage right there step one is done so coming out of here i should have 53 volts now and if this is not on you will not get your voltage out of here and your grow watt will not start so where is it at i paid 220 dollars for this and i have it now i mean i, I really kind of didn't need it Shh, don't tell my wife 220 dollars for that but either way right now it did charge that battery to 53 volts that battery was pushing 44 volts anyways so it did charge this battery this lg chem tech 253 volts okay so uh 17 degrees celsius is the temperature to get battery serial number i'm not gonna set the parameters but a 3.7 3.84 is the highest uh 3.77 is the lowest difference as your voltage is 0 0.069 and it's almost 100 percent charged the state of charge is almost 100 percent some voltage is 53 volts uh this is off so i guess maybe if i turn that on it'll balance cmos discharge i can't turn this on maybe my fat thumb won't but it's not saying balance right here i can't get that right there to to go on so here's your parameter settings uh cell voltage protect 4.25 cell voltage low protect 2.7 uh some voltage 59.5 low voltage 37 uh, overcharge current 150 amps discharge current this is so awesome 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 so let me go over this again the reason why my dally bms was not going on and it wasn't finding the bluetooth is because these right here i had opposite i was if you turn this over and count your voltage mine went from 3.7 out to 53 in when you get this black it's supposed to be your lowest further battery so wherever this black is the positive to this battery right here goes up this way this is on right now so let's see if i got the voltage coming out of here at 53 volts which it was never coming out of that p at 53 volts let me put that in right there and where's my charger just right here and this right here if you can see that this right here one should be at 53 volts if i hit this right here and i hit top negative right here and am i in there 53 volts so now that means i have voltage coming out of the bms and with that this grow watt would not go on without any voltage coming out the bms so either way that is how i started my dally bms people said that you need a, a a 10 amp or this amp or that amp this right here started up my battery was down to 44 volts so it was almost at the lowest point okay the state of charge right now is almost at 100 percent but it was, it was at 44 volts so my charger my bench top charger did charge it right here but the bms still wouldn't go on where i was getting only zero volts out of coming out of here all right i plugged in the negative right here and after the negative was plugged in i plugged in this and it found the device asap that fast all right so that's how i did it there was no charge to it i didn't arc these right here i didn't do anything else i uh diy battery for me really helped me out told me to check these leads these leads probably weren't right and of course they were opposite connected to the battery let me wrap this up and get this in and my next video will be that grow watt all right talk to you later subscribe like and share